Hello guys, today I'm gonna try to clone some tomato plants in here, so yeah, we're going. Okay, so we got root powder. I'm gonna cut some of these leaves off first. Hold on. Oh man, I'm blocking myself out of this shot. But I wanted it to be in the video just so you guys don't think I'm not real. I'm real. Okay, so you get the end of it pretty. Some hormones. And they just buried it. Then we move on to the next one. Oh, 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 come on, girl. Okay. Then we'll cover her in powder. And we'll bury her. Let's remove this leaves out of the way. Yeah. Let me get this one. And you know what's funny? It's true what they say. Once you buy root powder, it's very unlikely that you're going to change that. Because I had this root powder for years. And I'm still using it. And I don't think that it expires. So, you know. So, you could just keep reusing it and using it. Is that a better view? Yeah, that's better. I'm using their, you know, director's view. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry, girl. Oh, there you go. Go deep down there. Oh, oh, I left that little leaf in it. I gotta cut it. Hmm. <clears throat> Next one. Let me turn them around. Turn them around. Next one's gonna be this guy. He looks like a guy. Probably gonna get some strong tomatoes out of him. I hope, I hope. This will be my first, it's not my first time cloning a plant, but it's my first time cloning tomatoes. Like this. I have cloned tomatoes in the wild where I just buried like a plant and then it just grows automatically. But this is my first time actually using root powder for tomatoes I have used a root powder for my apple trees or mm, yep that, ooh. just make sure you don't cut the trunk because that's gonna become the really important part okay you want to bury them kind of deep and then I just got two more left. This one's I'm going to have to do on the ground. No more space. Can you guys see good? Oh, yeah. Hey, look, guys. If I can do it, so can you. It's that simple. It's that simple. 
You just bury them. And then let me move on. Oh, I got two more. Let me move on to the next one. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. This is looking pretty good. Okay. Oh, oh, more loading powder. Put you here. Oh, I bent this one a little. It's fine, it's fine. Okay. Hopefully they're ready in a couple of weeks. Okay. All right, so that's pretty much it. And now let me just water them. Let me put this on spray. Spray the whole area. Oh, oh, hold on. More. Oh, yeah, there you go. Ooh, let's set up this chair. Ah, oh, man, I know the shooting. God damn, bro. Get those guns away from these people. Like, if you're gonna go hunting, it's okay if you got a gun, but. Not if you're anywhere else, or if you're not even a hunter. I think that you should take some kind of test. Something that proves that you're not a mass murderer to get, uh, you know, to get guns. It's like, oh, uh, he needs it for... Not even for protection. We don't need it for protection. We should got the cops. Um, they got to get paid better. That way they can come help us whenever we call. That way they could be happy. And also, we just got to get guns off of the streets. If another human comes out and tries to attack me, I'll probably just use a knife or something. But not, not a gun. That's such an odd thing. But for hunting, that's a different story. Yeah, you definitely need a gun, a bear comes, or um, a goose. Um, it happens, it happens. But yeah, definitely, for hunting you need a, a definitely a, some kind of rifle, some kind of heavy gun that you could defend yourself or kill the animal that then you're gonna feed to your family. But yeah, you just gotta make sure that they're nice and wet because you don't want the humidity escaping this so you want to make sure that the topsoil is very wet I'm using a mixture of leaves um, potting soil and just regular soil potting soil and the regular soil I got it from Home Depot the leaf type of soil I made that on the backyard I you know every year I just pile a bunch of leaves and then it becomes like a powder and then I put that powder on it. Keep the water from coming out. That looks super dry. But it's dry because I think that those are um some kind of squash. And those are onions over there. They don't like water for some reason I think. Every year, I experiment with squash. And I get them, but then they just rot away. Because I've been leaving them on the soil for too long. Okay, make sure they're nice and wet. A lot of water around them. Not directly um, by the trunk, but like around them. Because the plant has hairs on her, so she kind of senses where the water is. And we want roots to start forming. We don't want to, you know. Okay, that's it. Yeah, you don't want to. You just want to feel the water around you. You don't want to be submerged in water, right? So that's the same thing with the plants. They just want to be 
Run water. I'm misting the leaves. Two days ago, I would have not done that, but we added sheets to the greenhouse. Just to keep the um, keep the um, the sun from shining down in here too hard. It gets so hot in here; it's not even funny. So we put those sheets. We order some um, some cloth, some shade cloth from Home Depot. It won't be here until till next week, the 13th. That's when it's gonna be here. We had another greenhouse and it was not this hot. We just built this greenhouse not too long ago. Like I'll say seven months ago, we just we built it. We didn't record it anything because it was in the whole mess of the aftermath of the storm that knocked down a bunch of our trees. So we were cleaning and busy. And then Selena was having a baby. So it's like a whole bunch of stuff going on. So we were just chilling and building this slowly without doing anything. It was just me. Uh, but yeah, that's how you um, do plants. Um, I'll see you guys later. I should be coming up with some new material either today or tomorrow. We're just struggling with the whole quality thing. Because on our phones, it looks legit. And then when we put it on the computer, it looks legit. But then when we upload it to YouTube... It looks horrible to me. Selena says it looks fine, but everybody else says it looks fine. But I'm like, oh, it doesn't look as good as it does in real life. Or not real life, but you know what I mean. And real life, it looks better in real life. Yeah, this looks a lot whole better. Uh, okay, so see you guys later. So long.